try If you want to break this, it's gonna take you a long time Overnight, don't happen overnight If we make success, it takes some grinding oversight Got about 10 years in it, can't fake that with photo likes Better not waste no time, young Montana, that world is mine Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Carter's Drag Racing. Hey, um, up a little bit early this morning. We're getting a couple things going. Uh, we got the, the blown fish. The big blown fish got some stuff going on with her. Uh, we got the war machine, got some things going on with it. Sit inside the war machine's heartbeat right here. We got the heartbeat right here, got the middle right here, and the rear end's out of her. Um, doing a little bit of everything to it. Uh, like I said, we're up a little bit early this morning, this Sunday morning. I think today is the 4th. Uh, we're getting ready to, we're going to Tampa, Florida. Bo and I are going to fly out to go to Tampa, Florida. And then we're getting on an airplane tomorrow and going to uh, uh, Omaha to look at a new toter. Not a new one. It would be a new one to us. But uh, we're going to keep you a little live on what's going on. What do you think, Bo? Pretty early this morning. Um, He's struggling. Yeah, we're going to going to Tampa and then going to Omaha. So we'll uh, we'll give you a little bit of video when we get there, and then uh, as soon as we get there, we'll video the whole thing. So hey, this is Bo's first one. Um, you know, I think they made a song getting drunk on a plane. I don't think we're gonna get drunk on a plane, but no, Bo's, Bo is, um, this is Bo, first time Bo's ever flown in a mm -hmm. big airline. Now, I've flown him a bunch, but he's uh, he's never flown on a big airline. And, um, you know, we got Miss Lolly standing behind the camera right there. Real quick, a flash for Miss Lolly. Oh, and her Pittsburgh <laughs> Steelers? Hey, and the Steelers, they kind of nosedive. And, um, but hey, that's fine. And I'm not gonna get into football right now because um, I'm a big Chief fan, but I don't like to, I, I'm not a big Chief fan, but I'm not a Taylor Swift fan neither. So, um, and I think it's a Taylor Swift team, but hey, that's fine. We're not gonna get into that. We're into the war machine and the blown fish. Stay tuned with us. It's early. I think we got, I think Miss Lolly got me up at 4.30 this morning. Her alarm went off. What the say? Heck far. Um, but we're ready to go. You ready, Bone? Here we go. Let's go. Let's roll. Stay tuned. Be with us. God loves you. Hey, we're at the airport. Getting ready to get on the airplane. Flying a big legions, baby. Get out of Tampa, Florida. Stay tuned, Mr. Bo. Yeah, we're going right. to go. <laughs> we're going to be good. Mr. Seth, be easy, bud. It's cold. See you, man. We'll let you know.
Just got word that I should come outside. So we'll see what this surprise is. So we'll go out here. Mom's in here working. <laughs> oh, look at here. And there would be one Mr. Yeah. <laughs> 80's, right. 80s Russell Carter. There he is. Yeah. So let's go out here and see what we got working here. That, I just got a call from Bo, and Bo said to come outside. So I don't know why. Well, I know why, but it's the new rig that we got. And apparently he's on the way, or close. So, I'm kind of excited to see what it looks like. I haven't seen it yet. They wouldn't see me. I asked for pictures and they wouldn't send it. So, they're being little turds about it. <laughs> but, yeah. It was a 16-hour drive for them. And then apparently, it just they're just getting back today. So, well, let's see. Oh, my God. Is that it? Oh, my God. Get the whole workforce out here today looking for this crap. Oh, my God. Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Good Lord. Trucker Chris Carter coming in live here, folks. He's gonna need a trucker hat after this. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Let's go see what these boys are up to. Well, Ooh, that was a long ride. how was the drive? It was a long ride. <laughs> that What's up, what everybody? <laughs> Welcome to Carter's Drag Racing. Man, <laughs> well, we got our new ride. I rode my hair out over the winter. It's everything oh doing pretty God. good. Um, but this is our new ride. You know, with my new hairdo, I'm trying to look like my other son, my my, th my third son. You know, we he, we're trying to see who can grow the longest hair. But when we were in the airport, they really gave me a hard time. They said I was trying to make up as something and look like somebody. But um, hey, this is our new ride. It's a um, it's a '92 Freightliner. Um, Bo and I we drove out to um, Omaha, Nebraska. We picked it up. We flew out. We looked everything over. Had an awesome time. Doing the video right here, you're gonna see of us flying. You're gonna see Mr. Blow Bo flying out the window. We're gonna see him different things flying around. He didn't fly. Not out the literally. What? I said not literally flying the window. Yeah, he's not literally flying out the window, <laughs> but he's videoing out the window. But we smoked it over, everything did good. We transferred some money over and we purchased it. And we uh, Mr. Bo and I we drove it back. What do you think, Mr. Bo? I, I like it. Uh fix a few things on it, and I think it'll be be real nice uh, you'll see here in just a minute we'll show you the inside and stuff but i think it'll be be pretty nice things look pretty cool things are going on that hair but you let your hair down now <laughs> god dang jesus let's get on up here that's the right there get your caterpillar holy um damn. It needs a good bath. It's a 3406 cat. I uh, got a little, little over 400 horse. Um, it can be tuned up and have even more if we wanted to. But um, not that I'd ever tune anything up. Look at the thing. Um, oh my god. But yeah, things are things are good. Hey, we come back. We came back. Uh, the old girl runs about 70, 75. We kept about 75 acts. It had it up to 80 a couple times. It smoked right on down the road. Um, turbo sings real good. Everything seems to be real good on it. Tires are good. It needs some TLC. Needs a lot of cleanup. Like I said, we put about 1,200 miles on it. 
and um, um, but yeah, everything's good. Um, got the seats in the front. It's it's actually not bad looking inside. It's a it's a nine speed. We'll show you some more video of it here in just a minute. Um, oh, also, you know, I got these. Mr. <laughs> Seth talked us into these hats. You know, we tried to sell them. And hey, listen to me, y'all. Y'all need to. To help us out, we're you know, like I said, we got a pro mod. We need all the help we can get. So if I figured out, if I sold a few hundred thousand of these hats, okay, um, relax. It, it would might help sell something. So relax a little bit. Yeah. Um, but this is what we have, and it's called Welcome to McCrib. Yeah. MTV Cribs in here. MTV Cribs. Oh Lord. But yeah. Um, never mind the waste. We got, we got, we poured water down the drains to, um, and like I said, I won't show this outside. I, I really didn't, <laughs> just let you know, I really didn't grow my hair up. I was just doing that for my other son. But, um, yeah, things are pretty cool. This makes into bed here. Uh, we have a bed here. Uh, the nice little bathroom in here. You got a freeze in here, huh? Dang. Yeah. Hmm. Got a refrigerator. Got the freezer. Hey, he even got the microwave going on. <laughs> and then, you know, most people, you are human. Most people, they got to go number two. So we have a nice little latrine right there. <laughs> they, they Real make privacy sure there. To get stuff out. Real private. Yep. Um, we got a shower in here. Just definitely needs a big, it needs a good cleaning. Yep, good cleaning. Keep going. And you look at the back back there. The bunk beds? Yeah, it has two bunk beds. Huh. That ain't bad. Yep, got an air conditioner up top. One air conditioner up over your head. Now that's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> yeah. There we go. And then we can put the, the, the big stereo system or the big TV right there. Oh, yeah. And we can actually watch her runs yes. when we want to watch it. We can That's watch sick. what that is. Yeah. And then if I catch Mr. Seth in here watching Tennessee football, we might have to kick him out. Yes, that'll be when. <laughs> but you can um, you can look up front and you can see what the what it looks up front. Oh God, I got a duck down in here. Hmm. Yeah, oh, dang. Good Lord. Well, we got a little coffin up here. Yeah, actually, it's a cubby hole. That way, when we when we get tired, somebody we can stick them up there. <laughs> and when we don't want to hear your mouth, we'll just shut the door. So, but like I said, this thing it has. Um, oh, we have a generator. The generator is an Owen uh, seventy five hundred. That seventy five hundred will about pull anything we need. We'll hook it up where it runs the generator. The the the. The truck can also run the trailer. Uh, anything that we need out there, we'll we'll make sure that that's all working. Um, like I said, there's nothing wrong with the meat wagon. The meat wagon did real good. We just were looking for something bigger. Uh, the girls are only getting older. I won't want to say bigger because then uh, that's only they bow. Think, they think, yeah, that's only bow. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, we were just looking for something bigger. And um, you'll see we still got the meat wagon. We'll probably put her up for sale here pretty soon. That's usually how racing starts, though, right? Yep, you got to start small and get big. I was just talking about the bigger you get, the more motor you got to get. Well, that's true, too. Hey, everybody. Woo! Got some new T-shirts this year. Um, we decided we're going to go a little bit different. We still got the black, as we had last year. We stepped up, and we're going to the blue. Um, and we also have gray. Um, we got like these shirts right here. This is a large, this is a large blue. Um, that's what that's going to look like on the back. And this is on the front. We also have gray. They're, uh, these shirts are out of, um, they're not, they're not made out of 100% cotton. They're, I think they're 40, 40, 60. 40, uh, something like that. So it's a good looking, good feeling, and it's not that hot. But like I said, the blue, um, 
Miss Lolly said she did not want black, she wanted blue. So we got Miss Lolly blue, but we do. We have small, we have medium, we have large, extra large, and um, we have 3X. And you know what? We even have, for old Uncle Ted, Big Teddy William, <laughs> or Teddy um, Avery, Mr. Avery, Uncle Ted, we got a 4X for Mr. Uncle Ted. So um, that's just for you, Teddy. Um, but yeah, the, the, the gray, the gray's pretty cool. And actually it looks pretty dang good on the on that bike. Turned out pretty good, I like them. Um, we also got new t-shirts or new sweatshirts. This is for the little ones, Miss, Miss Callie Claire and Ava Diane. That's for my two little nappy heads and bow little girls. But this, that's what the front looks like. We also have these for sale. Uh, they're only in blue though. This is, uh, this is one of the ones right here. This is a, it's a big one. It's a 3X. That's a 3X right there. And you always want a sweatshirt just a little bit bigger. That way you can put anything on it you want to. And um, I know we got all kinds of different sizes on that. Go ahead and take us off on the hats, uh, bro. We still got our black ones. So we got new hats. They are black and our black and our gray like we had last year. And we also got the new ones. Um, silver, snapback. So if, uh, if you want a hat, we'll have them with us. So it's one size fit all. And it, um, like I said, it is a, um, we had a couple people ask about this. I get people that ask me, oh, I want the Velcro fit one fits all. Um, it don't, you got if you do that style, you gotta have a bunch of different ones. We hit, we went ahead and went with the snapback in the back. Some people like it, some people don't, but we did that. So it fits a little bit of everybody. You can put a small kid or a big old fat head in there. But uh, look us up on that. We can sell it to you online. We can have them at the racetracks. We can do whatever. Just look us up online and Facebook us. Um, probably holler Mr. Seth or, or myself, and we'll kind of go from there. But um, that's what we got. Hey, let's get you back to the videos, all right? God loves you. We love you. We'll see you later. So um, let's go out here. Let's look around. Let's look around the outside. Come on. <clears throat> get up, Bo. Still got work today. I'll knock you down <laughs> Got a bunch of cabinets. There's the eighties man he's talking about right there. There's Lolly. <laughs> <laughs> um, we got cabinets. Cabinets are in here. And um, yeah, and actually on this on this um video we got a special person here we'll have to talk about. Here in just a minute. Uh the generator, it's sitting in there. Uh we're gonna do a bunch of stuff. We're gonna take some stuff on the back side. You can see it's all tore up and everything. We're gonna put a new diamond plate on the back side and uh, get rid of all these little cubby holes that have been scratched up. And we got all kinds of new new holes on this side to stash stuff in. But the good thing is it has new brakes, it has new uh, rotors or, or drums, it's got new brake lines, it's got new shocks, it's got new airbags. Uh, the guy, when he got it, he, he replaced everything on the back half of it. So um, it looks like it's pretty good. Everything looks like it should be the normal. Um, it doesn't leak. We don't have any leakage up top. Um, That's a plus. And like I said, the big thing <clears throat> is that old girl has got 150 gallons per side. <laughs> so if you add that up, that's 300 gallons. And the cool thing about it was, woo! Yeah, the cool thing about it was <laughs> when we come back, when we come back, we came back on less than 150 gallons. So you do the math, um, the old girl's getting about eight eight gallons an hour, eight gallons a mile, I'm aircraft. Eight gallons, a, eight, miles, eight a miles of the gallon. There you go. So that's not bad, that's actually pretty good. Running 75, but- um, Probably around 80, 90. Um, we'll go, we'll keep walking around and look at this. Like I said, that's, um, she's pumping out about 400 horsepower right now. So, um, not bad. And these things really come in use. Yeah. <laughs> I used them on the way back. Uh -huh. Yeah, get out of the dang way. Good Lord. 
Hold your ears, boys. Jesus Christ. That's right. Hold on, Nelly. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. But that's all we got. Hey, let's walk inside. We're going to talk about the cars. We're going to talk about different things here. God, I'm going to need some hearing aids after that. Yeah. Blow my eardrums. <clears throat> Never mind the mess. <laughs> it's winter time and we try not to have too much of a mess. Come on in, Sever. <sighs> now, a couple things will we'll push some attention here. You hot? Uh, yeah, I am hot. It's, it's a little warm. He's in the, in the low seat, in the mid 60s. So, with that being said, um, we're going to install this new water hose. This water hose, you know, we're trying to find a way why this thing's not running that good. And um, we're trying to figure out, so I think if we put this water hose on there, the water hose will make it run faster. And... Um, Bo Carter it is not that hot. It is. But the Viper, the Viper we got, the engine, I've got all the parts. We got all the parts for the, for the, um, for the Brad Anderson. It's a Brad motor. Uh, we got the new um, R and R rods. Let me tell you something. If you're looking for any rods, look me up. I can sell you some rods. I can get you some rods. Probably beat about anybody's price. Um, look me up in the, in the rods. Um, hooked up with them boys, and we're good to go. But the rods are here. Um, we got the rings. We got the pistons. We've got the um, the crank is ready to go. Everything, the heads, the heads have all been, um, my heads have been, we pulled the heads apart, new springs, we got the retainers, the valves, everything's rocking and rolling. Uh, if you'll notice over here, this is the, um, this is the crankshaft. Crankshaft on ma magnifluxed and ready to go. If you'll notice back here, we'll look in here, the rear end is gone. Uh, we kind of trashed out the rear end this year, the housing. So um, I got it over my buddy Mike Williams, and uh, we're building a new we're building a new um, a new rear end. Like I said, never mind the mess because we just kind of got it all clabbered up. Supercharger, we're still gonna run the same same supercharger. It's a 1471 uh, Cabelco. Um, Chuck Ford did it. And same intake, same hat, same everything as we had for the last couple of years. Uh, just freshening the old girl up. And um, hey, we just we did pretty good last year. We're gonna try to stay at the same place we were last year. Just kind of, kind of run like that. Um, we're gonna back up over here. I'm gonna show you my transmission. Here's the drive. This is a quick drive. Um, Dang good transmission. Steve at Quick Drive set me up with this thing. Um, what I like about Steve is uh, you need something, you call him up, he answers. Um, technical, technical, technical. That's all he, he taught anything I've called him on. Basically, I took this thing totally apart and he helped me. I had it laid all over the table. He helped me clean. I cleaned the parts up and he helped me put everything back together. Um, I got a couple of things laying right here. We're changing some jets. That's in here. That's supposed to help us a little bit there. Let me come over here. And like I said, never mind the, never mind the mess. <laughs> this is the B and J. Um, the boys at B and J have been real good. His name's Steve too. Um, but the guys at B and J have been nothing but out unbelievable for us. Helped me out when I needed gear changing. We went from one gear change into another gear change, and we're still running a, a, a one, what do I think it's a 190 something, 60 foot, or a first gear. Um, but we got it all, all ready to go. Clutches are all good. Everything's ready to go. All I need to do is get my butt in gear and build this motor. I put everything together, and then my buddy Mike Williams, like I said, is building the, the uh, Tim McCamus rear end. And we do that number. So what we'll do is we'll keep on adding different things, keep telling you different things, what we have. 
what we got going on. Um, we're also putting new, we're putting new slicks on this year. We try to start out, we try to start off with new slicks. We run the Hoosiers. We run the Hoosiers, the 17, 34.5, 16s. The, the, best, the best code is the 80, or 18, 780s. That's the best. Uh, they make a couple different stickiness of them. The, the blower guys run the 18, 780s. The nitrous guys run something else. I don't care. I just like outrunning them. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't care about them. But um, we're going to take them. Um, we're putting them on our, our, our rims over here, getting things ready, um, putting uh, the anti-seize on the bolts, getting things going for that. That way when we put these things all together, we can do that number. Um, if you notice, we got a lot of projects going on. Winter times we do. I'm taking my old Challenger right here. Um, I had this car back in, in high school. Uh, right out of high school, it's a 72 Challenger, and it's got a 440 pistol grip, four speed, Dana rear end, and we're putting, right now we're putting new heads on it, and still running the, if you'll show, I'll show you right here, we're running a 2.4 intake, um, a nice little 2.4 intake, I'd raise it up over my head, but it's a little heavy, <laughs> so, but that's going on the Challenger. Looks like somebody powder coated that very well. Yeah, they did. Somebody did. You know, I, I know this powder coater, which uh, he does a real <laughs> good job. And if you ever need any powder coating, it's called Carter's Powder Coating. I'm going to throw a little insight in here. Honestly, if you need anything, look me up. I can fix you up. Um, now we come back to the Cuda. Cuda's got a lot of things going on. Um, I'm going to see something right here in just a second. Let me have the, let me have the phone here just a second. Oh, and you know what? Not too often you get scooted in their boat, don't go anywhere. I got all four of my sons here. Look at that. Oh, God dang, they almost got in a row. We got Mr. Bo. We got Mr. Sean. We got Mr. Russell. And we got uh, Mr. Seth. Um, four boys. I don't know how to make a girl. Wouldn't know what to do with a girl. All I got, Bo does. Bo, <laughs> you know, he couldn't make girls. He couldn't make boys, he made all girls. And I couldn't make girls, I made all boys. But um, like I said, I got all four of them here today and um, kind of rocking and rolling. Mr. Like I said, Mr. Sean is doing the, Mr. Sean's doing the wheels. He's getting the anti-seize all together and getting things on and on and on on them. And I'm going to put those up for sale. And we got the Cuda. We got the old Cuda right here, the blown fish. Um, we're getting ready to, uh, put the motor together. I got rods ordered. I've got pistons ordered for it. Uh, the range should be in any time. I've got everything else. I got the cam. I got the block. The block work's all done. Um, all the heads are redone. We redid the Indy, Indy, um, 440-1 heads. We got them done. Valve job on and on and on. That's all rocking and rolling. New valve springs. Um, so the blown fish is pretty good. What we're, we're going to do with the blown fish is, is run that in the 470, the 470 index. And, um, I run some expeditions with it too, but, um, yeah, the transmission got to go through it. The transmission in this thing is a, um, is a power glide and, um, we're going to just disassemble it, put new clutches and new things in it and see what, um, Nothing wrong with it. I just want to freshen it up. And, um, hey, we'll go from there. I don't know anything else we need to do to the old girl. Uh, we are going to fix the doors. <laughs> Got some stuff ordered for the doors that... Um, that way they don't come out no more. The windows, the windows would open up on that thing. <laughs> so um, Looks like we'll, she's got wings going yeah, on the track. Um, so we'll bring those in, and that way it doesn't do that. But you got anything to say, Mr. Bone? Nope. Nope. Just cosmetic with this thing. That's about it. That and put the motor together. Yep. 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 So, um, but hey, definitely stay with us. Um, we'll keep you updated. I have had a couple guys tell me, it's hard for me to do it, but I've had a couple of guys that's really asked me when I build the motor, if I video that and talk as I go through there. 
Sometimes, you know I don't get paid for this stuff, right? <laughs> Sometimes he gets paid for food. Um, and actually, if you look at his belly, his belly getting a little bit bigger. He came in the other day and said, man, these dang shirts. I'm going to have to quit doing something with these shirts. These shirts are getting I did not say that. shirt. It's the belly. He's making up stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but I do. I have people that's, that's asking, say, hey, Chris, will you video when you're building your engine? I'm going to try to do that. I've never done that before. <laughs> I'm going to try to do that, and that way I can keep my thoughts going, but also video it. And that way we get things together and kind of go from there. You want to go talk to our special guest? Yeah, let's, um, come still, on over here, Sam. I'm going to show here. you a special guest. Come on. <clears throat> come on this way. And like I said, if I mention anything about these new hats, <laughs> these new hats we have right here. <laughs> Uh-oh. Here we go. <laughs> Everybody, look at this lady right here. This is she. She sounds like a duck. It's all right. Here, she she's got the duck. When she gets nervous, she sounds like a duck. But uh, mom, just just relax. This is Mona Claire. This is my mom. This is Miss Mona. How we doing, mom? We're doing just fine. I like your new ride. Yeah. yeah. She, you like those hats, Grandma? <laughs> Do I? Oh, let me see that hat. Oh, the war machines. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Yeah. That's good. See, she settled down. She's not quacking now. So once she, once she gets to know you, she's not as bad. But, um, hey, Mona Claire. Nice meeting y'all. Hey, <laughs> 80. Going to be 86 this year, right? Yep. Going to be 86. Not bad for an old lady. Yep. I hope I get 86. I, I'm like this. Well, that so, will not happen. That probably won't happen either. See all of this gray hair? Every single one came from this. <laughs> I doubt it. But, <laughs> hey, and Lolly, come on over here, Lolly. Hi, Lolly. Lolly will bring bring Dak in the picture. See, <laughs> Dak, is the, Dak is the home dog. So, but that's what we got. Where is the big one? Oh, and Dallas is inside. She's, she's, she's stage fright. Oh, she's so, stage fright. But that's what we got. Let's do it. We're gonna do We're going to do different things. We'll keep with you during the year. Like us. Subscribe. Um, Facebook us. Tell us, hey, man, I like what you got. Go to our website. Go to our different things. Not website, but our, um, what's it called, Phil? Facebook. Facebook. YouTube. Go to our Facebook. Comments. Go to our YouTube. Help us out. That just helps us. Subscribe. Not that we're making, is it? Subscribe. 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 <laughs> not prescribe. <laughs> not prescribe. I'm not looking to get any medicine. It's subscribe. So hang in there with us. Anybody else? And listen to me. God loves you. God loves you, and he will provide. Jesus is the key. Jesus is what takes care of us. Listen to me. It's the number one thing. Number one. So hang in there. We love you, and we'll see you later.